On farms in the United Kingdom, farmers have to make one third more of produce because they might miss an ugly fruit or something might touch the ground for a second. Over a quarter of bananas globally are discarded because they don't look pretty enough or have touched the ground for a second. In Queensland, 100,000 tons of bananas, about a third of the annual crop, are thrown out each year because they aren't pretty enough Duh. or because they've fallen from a tree and touched the ground. And according to the CSIRO, 54% of Australian mangoes, more than half of the fruit produced, is thrown away. This is the same way basic bitches judge men's penises, which results in over a quarter of basic men not getting their dick wet. It's interesting that we freak out when an apple touches the ground, but we're fine with a bunch of cancer-causing agents to be sprayed on that same apple. It's the five-second rule of mindless consumerism. It takes five seconds of pesticide spray to be put on that fruit for that fruit to be ruined forever. But yeah, let's worry about whether it's made contact with the earth from whence it came. So what happens to all the fruits that didn't make the cut? They either get plowed back into the fields and are used for fertilizer for next year, or they feed it to livestock. The yellow rejects and heads deemed too big or too small are left behind in the field to be plowed under. And if you think broccoli and cauliflower have a tough time making the grade, check out these peaches. If you look at this piece of fruit all the way around, there's no blemishes to it. It's got red color with a, a yellow blush background. That's gonna go to uh, our premium box, the high-end retail. And this one here has got green on it, so this would definitely go on a number two. We wouldn't put this in a premium box. Wait, back that up. Premium grade, seconds? Wouldn't you buy those seconds? And the ones that don't even rate as a one or two? Dumped into this truck. This truck here is our final throwing out, going to the cattle feed. I mean, we have to feed it to livestock. You know, they don't understand what beauty is. They just look at a piece of fruit and say, hey, look at all this free energy. Wow, this is such a great concept. Just some free food and energy for me to live my life and hang out with some pals. Oh, hey, what's that metal thing? Seldom does this discarded fruit supply get to a food bank or the one in eight Americans that need to eat. And a large part of this is because grocery stores and farms don't want to invest in donation because it's one more step to make the effort to get this food to people that need it. The Food Bank's Farm to Family program has tried to recruit more growers who pack in the field to do what ocean mist does. They separate out the seconds and pack it in these black crates headed for the food bank. The premium heads get packed in the ocean mist boxes headed for retailers. It's a simple process, but only three out of 25 broccoli and cauliflower growers in the state participate. Harold McClarty of HMC Farms says he'd like to donate more of his peaches to the food banks, but... Getting it into the hands of somebody to eat it isn't, isn't free. There's got to be an economic incentive to move more of this into an avenue that food banks could take advantage of. It's a lot easier and cheaper just to basically throw it away. But pull yourself up by your bootstraps, corporate North America, and do the right thing and feed the world like you keep claiming you want to. Be the change you pretend to agree with. Look, if you've eaten at any fast food place, you should not be picky about the looks of your food. Not one fast food place has food that looks like the photographs, okay? This is how bad this trend of making everything pristine is. Not only are we airbrushing and photoshopping our actresses and famous people, but we're doing it to our food. I mean, no wonder people think of penises when I say banana, because thanks to the fast food restaurants airbrushing our burgers to beauty, we're conditioned to want to fuck our food. <laughs> 